uh, back into the workshop now, I'll show you what I'm doing. I installed already the um, variable resistors. Now, it's all straightforward how these go in per the instructions. But you have to follow the instructions and they all have to be flush on the board. The same for the the RCA jacks on the back. You have to make them where they're flush to the board like that. And that way uh, the holes will line up to the to the case. So it's pretty important that you do that. And right now I'm installing transistors. I got uh, two of them in now. U4 which is a voltage regulator. That one there. And um, Q1 which is that one there. And let me show you how I'm doing that. See what you want to do is of course use a static mat and and the strap like we talked about before. This Q2 is a part number 2222A so I gotta check that on the scope here. Not the scope but my uh, my viewing uh, lens. And this is the right one. So I'm gonna insert that into the board where Q2 is. I can find it here. Hmm. Difficult. Here it is, Q2. Q2. And the uh, flat side of Q2 lines up to the, the flat arrow not really the arrow, but the flat line that's on the board. So you just drop it in there. That's easy, huh? Now what I do is flip it over like so and I spread the, the leads a little bit to hold it in like this. Now what I also do, they don't tell you this, but I got this guy here, this little heat sink. It's part of a Radius Shack toolkit. And then you, this is what I do here, just I grip mm -hmm. these leads here with a heat sink. Like that, see? See what I did? Now I'm gonna turn this over Like that. See? Let me see if that is actually viewing range here. Back it up a little bit. Like that. Okay, now the noise you hear is me moving my, my lens apparatus. Now I'm going to solder that thing in. So here we go. I can't see it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Solder it in. Q2. This one leg. I just wait for a second, let that set up. Leg two. Leg three. Easy as pie, hey? Now what I'm going to do is flip it over again. 
Let's see the heat sink. I'm going to take it off and feel the resistor here. I mean, feel the transistor. And it's cool as a cucumber. And that's because I use the uh, handy dandy heat sink. So I recommend people get into the habit of using one of them. And that's why I wanted to show. So I'm just going to keep progressing and do the other transistors. Uh, that's it. And for now, I'm just going to continue doing that. And it's getting close to midnight. So I'm just going to keep uh, putting the transistors in. And I think I'll kill it at that point. Take it easy. Bye.